all right guys i'm out here with a how-to video this is gonna be a two-one video it's nighttime i got a little headlamp on so it might be a little dark but the things i tell you you're gonna be able to follow this no matter if it's dark or light all right so i got a screw in my tire i put some kind of like fixed flat in it but the screw flew out after a while so i lost air and then i came unbeat it what i mean by unbeat it is the seal broke from the rim in the tire oh, let me get back for you guys to see you see where it's like that lip i can stick my finger in there a little bit that's what i mean by unbeat it so the seal broke I'm going to get this to inflate with that bead being broke, and then I'm actually going to seal that hole. The hole is where the solution is right there. The hole is right there. So I'm going to use that kit to fill that hole with a patch. I'm going to show you how right now. All right, there comes two tools with that kit and patches. I'm using this tool first. It has like barbs on it. I'll take a picture and show you what I mean in a minute. Or edit it and show you. But all you're going to do is you're going to stick that piece into the hole just to make a hole bigger that way you can actually stick the patch in it so i'm gonna move over to light if i can show you or i can move over hold on a second all right so now we're at the hole we're gonna stick that in there uh force it down in there a couple times as you guys heard I already went in there it's hanging out so do it maybe a couple times. You guys heard me digging in there. Alright, so that should be good enough. You only got to do it like two or three times for real. Alright, so with the patches, you're going to use the other tool. And this is it right here. So you're just going to stick one of the patches through that hole. Show you the patches. So I'm going to stick it through there right now. I don't have enough hands or a stand to actually show you, but it's really easy. So I'm going to do that right now. All right. So. With that tool, you're going to stick it like that, halfway in the middle. And you're going to add rubber cement. I'm going to show you what I mean, rubber cement. All right, so that's your rubber cement right here. And then there's going to be patches. You can choose whether if you want to use the patches or not, or you can save the patches for something else. That's totally up to you. So I'm going to add the rubber cement to my actual patch. All right. So now you got your rubber cement added to your patch. You're just going to stick that down in there. So guys see I stuck it in there some of the patch is still hanging out that's how you want it so you're gonna leave it in there a little bit then just gonna pull it out let it get to like the tire slowly pull it out to where the actual patch will stay in it so I'm going to pull it out now. All 
And you guys see it's still some left on there. Let's see. You guys see it's right there. So that's the patch. You can leave it like that, let it dry, do whatever it's gonna do. Now, I'm gonna give it a minute to dry because I have to now belt it with a ratchet strap. That's the second part of this video. All right, now what you wanna do is you wanna set up your ratchet strap because you're gonna rebeat your tire now to the rim. So you're gonna set that up, you're gonna wrap it around the tire I'm going to set mine up and I'm going to show you where you're supposed to place it on your tire and how and what you're going to be doing when you're doing it. So, with RC car tire and what I mean, sell the bead or if the bead is broken. So, really, what you're doing is you're going to grab the tire, you're going to inspect the tire and see. If off uh, both sides, what side is not sealed, then you're going to take your ratchet strap or a chain. You're going to in the middle of the actual rubber band. I'm going to show you. So most of the times, it's best to have great width. Like the one that I used, it was like two inch, two and a half or something like that. It went in the middle and you kind of could see that in the middle with this wheel is kind of going in. So if it was wider, it'd go in, forcing the outsides to go closer to the rim. So once you get close to the rim, you would want to take like a mallet. And you want to go around the wheel, just rotate the wheel and hit it like maybe three or four times the same type of, you know what I mean? Power. Then try to put air in it. It should connect and seal and air up. But the thing is you want to just do like, I want to say a rough 15 tire pressure maybe 20 a little bit like go to 20 and you'll start hearing a popping noise that means the rim and the actual ring of the tire are connecting and starting to seal and air the tire up so once you get to like 20 stop airing it up take your ratchet strap off or your chain off and then you're going to want to put it on the vehicle air it up or air it up and then put it on the vehicle and that's just you reselling a tire and a rim, easily explained with a wheel from a toy and a rubber band and a key. All right, y'all. Well, mine is holding there. I'm up to 20. So it got me up to 20. I can go ahead, put my tire back on, and inflate it all the way, and I'll be on my way. There y'all go. All right, so I'm holding there, y'all. It's a go. There y'all go.